Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 12th of 2022. Well, it is titled Portrait of the Eagle Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a forming star cluster. Now, star clusters of stars form from gas and dust in space. And as they begin to form, they give some very beautiful images, such as what we see here today. It's a very young star cluster, only a couple of million years old, and known as the Eagle Nebula, also known as Messier 16 uh, for its catalog designation. Now when we look at this, we see a number of different colors here. Now the colors are used to signify the emission of specific wavelengths of light. So instead of being a true color image, each color is mapped from the emission of a different element and often used here are hydrogen, oxygen and sulfur. So those are commonly used and then color coded to the various colors here, the reds and the blues and the greens, and then put together into a single image. And that allows us to focus and really see the gas emission that we're looking at here. Now we see uh, the nebula and this is actually famous for a number of things including the pillars of creation towards the center here which is pointing towards the relatively young star cluster that has formed those pillars are denser knots of material and they are the peaks of them are the densest areas and are the new stars that are just forming right now and that will in a few hundred thousand years be new stars and a new addition to this star cluster that is forming. So star clusters don't really form all at once. It takes a long period of time for the stars to form from the time the gas cloud starts to collapse until this it is finally finished. Now the the pillars point out that direction because of the stars that have already formed. Those stars that have formed emit a lot of uh, ultraviolet radiation. They have high energy solar winds and stellar winds that push material back. So only the denser knots remain around them. So as the star cluster forms, it's a battle between the gas and the dust and and the stars. So the gas and the dust are losing the battle in the long run and will get pushed away. And eventually another couple of million years from now or so, we will see a star cluster here with only vague remnants of the nebula that used to be present. And the dust and gas here will all have either formed into stars or have been expelled outward into the interstellar medium. So that was our picture of the day for August 12th of 2022. It was titled Portrait of the Eagle Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Small Moon, Big Crater. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.